Hello there. Jason here, yet again, with another Star Wars video. Um, now, I recorded a video yesterday uh, for May the 4th, talking about my love of Star Wars. And I wanted to record another Star Wars video, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about. Until I watched a video from IGN, um, kind of talking, you know, in preparation for the new Obi-Wan's Kenobi series, they were talking about how Disney was using a lot of its newer Star Wars projects to fill in some of the plot holes left open from the original trilogy. Um, and that actually got me thinking about one movie in particular, Rogue One, and one of the biggest plot holes that was presented in the original trilogy that Rogue One uh, pretty well solves, which is the, uh, the uh, in reference to the Death Star. One of the things that I thought was so genius about that plot whole was it not only explains it not only explains the first death star but also the second death star in return of the jedi um and i'll elaborate on that um galen urso the chief engineer on the death star project designed a fatal flaw in the death star's main reactor that was actually a trap so the reactor was completely unstable to the point where just the smallest twitch in the system could set off a chain reaction with would destroy the entire station. Um, so that's how a one-man fighter can go in and just fire a couple torpedoes and the whole, the whole station blows up. Um, and what was genius about it was he designed it to be like an essential part of the Death Star's, you know, creation. It wasn't just some, you know, it wasn't just some obvious, well, we don't need that. He designed it in such a meticulous way that it, it, it seemed essential to the Death Star's construction. So, going to the second Death Star, all the engineers decided to do was just take the plans from the original Death Star, basically just copy-paste and put it all together for the original Death Star. Then, this time, of course... Because they had had all the uh, bugs and the kinks worked out over the last, you know, over like 20 years of trying to put the other Death Star together, they decided to do the weapon, build the weapon first and then the superstructure second, so that they could get it uh, fully armed and operational right away, versus uh, 20 or 30 years later. Um, but I thought that was really genius. And it just speaks to how how good a movie that is and just how great the writing is with most of these Star Wars films nowadays. Um, I am a huge Star Wars fan, but I'm not one of those most critical, you know, those hypercritical ones, but I am also not uh, so starry-eyed, pun intended, over Star Wars that I don't see its flaws. Um... But Rogue One is definitely a gem for me. Um, I absolutely love that movie. And just the all the things that it added to the Star Wars franchise. For me, after I saw that movie... Because one of the big things that you um, are asked or at least you you know you're the, one of the big questions from people who haven't seen Star Wars before ask you is where should I start should I start you know theatrically chronologically what should I do where should I go blah 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 so after seeing Rogue One that just became the most obvious answer watch Rogue One um if you don't like it after Rogue One you could take it or leave it, but the great thing about Rogue One is if you really enjoy it, that's your perfect way into the original trilogy. And then you can use the original trilogy to do the prequels, and then after that you can do the sequels. Um, but for me, it's just like, you know, Rogue One, It's it, it wraps up the story in enough of a way that you could just leave it there. You know, the good guys win, right? Sort of. Um... But, you know, if you want to keep going, I mean, yeah, the, the next step is obvious. You just watch the original film because 
Rogue One leads right into the original film. And that's one of the things that I really enjoyed about that movie was that it, you know, it's just right there, you know, Rogue One, A New Hope. And it's just right there. I think there's like mere uh, moments between the two films that I thought was really interesting and it was really great. But I really did like, especially how they filled in that big major plot hole. There's so many other things that I liked about the movie, but, you know, filling in a, 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 40 plus year plot hole was probably um up there so um that's just a that's just a quick star wars uh uh video for you a uh, little just a you know that's you know just me being a, a enthusiastic star wars fan uh let me know what you think uh, about the rogue one uh plot fix uh, down in the comments or anything about Rogue One or anything about Star Wars. Again, I'd love to talk about Star Wars all the time. So, uh, you know, I could talk about it for hours. Just, you know, hit me up in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that notification bell so you get updates on all my future videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And remember, the Force will be with you always.